This strawberry and ginger coronation trifle is by Michelin star chef Adam Handling. It's not just beautiful, it's also delicious. We'll show you every step to make this delicious dessert. First we'll make the Yorkshire Parkin. Add unsalted butter to a small pot, followed by the golden syrup and black treacle. Black treacle is a dark, thick syrup that is a lot like molasses, but thicker. It tastes somewhat bitter. It's used in many British desserts. Add the brown sugar. Place on the stove on medium and melt, and mix the ingredients together. Set aside. Preheat the oven. In a bowl, add the self-raising flour, oats, ginger, nutmeg, and British mixed spice. We'll show you how to make it at the end of the video. Mix well and add the wet ingredients while they're still hot. Beat until the mixture is incorporated. Once incorporated, add two eggs. Mix for another five minutes until smooth and pale. Line a loaf dish with parchment paper and pour in the mixture. Bake the parkin for one hour. On the recipe card it says to bake for 25 minutes, but this wasn't nearly enough. Remove from the oven and insert a toothpick or fork or knife. If it's clean when it comes out, the parkin is ready. If not, put it back in and check every five minutes. The parchment paper makes it easy to remove the parkin from the dish. Let cool for at least half an hour. Slice into one centimeter pieces. Then cut into strips and then across the strips to form squares. The parkin is very crumbly. The recipe calls for frozen strawberries. Defrost ahead of time. Add the gelatin sheets into a bowl filled with cold water. Add them one at a time because if not, they'll stick together and there are parts that won't hydrate properly. Let the sheets soak for at least five minutes. Once defrosted, blend the strawberries and add them to a small pot. Then add the caster sugar. Take out the gelatin sheets and squeeze to remove the water. Place the pot on the stove on medium. Warm and stir the mixture gently until the gelatin and sugar have dissolved. Don't allow the mixture to come to a boil. Strain with a fine strainer and press with a spatula. On the recipe card it says that the liquid should be clear after straining. We weren't able to achieve this result despite trying with a very fine strainer and with a coffee filter. Adam Handling must have had a very fine strainer in his restaurant to use. If you're planning to make the trifle for the coronation, write us a comment to let us know. Set aside. Separate the yolks of eight eggs from the whites. It doesn't matter if the yolks break. Add caster sugar and whisk. Mix until it becomes very pale. You can also use beaters. This step was missing from the recipe. To figure out what to do, we referred to a Jamie Oliver vanilla custard recipe. Thank you, Jamie Oliver. Add the flour and mix until well incorporated. In a small pot, add milk and the ground ginger. Heat on medium until it's steaming but not boiling. Add half of the hot milk into the egg yolk mixture and mix until combined. Pour this into the remaining milk in the pot and mix constantly until it thickens. Don't let it come to a boil. This step was also missing from the recipe card. Remove from the heat. Strain the custard to remove any lumps of flour. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It helps us keep making videos.
After straining, cover with a piece of plastic wrap. The plastic should be touching the entire surface of the custard. This prevents a crust from forming. Set aside. This is a vanilla pod. To remove the seeds, cut the pod in half with a small knife. Separate the two halves. With the tip of the knife, scrape along the inside, removing the small black seeds. If you don't have a vanilla pod, you can use a teaspoon of vanilla extract instead. In a large bowl, add the cream, icing sugar, and vanilla. Beat until stiff peaks form. Refrigerate until you're ready to use it. We borrowed a trifle dish from a friend. It turned out to be too big, so we served the trifle in individual glasses. Defrost more strawberries. Add a few chunks of the parkin, then add some strawberries. Our strawberry jelly hardened, so we microwaved it for 35 seconds until it was liquid again. Pour the jelly over the parkin and strawberries to fill about half of the glass. Refrigerate for at least 15 minutes so the gelatin hardens again. Remove the plastic wrap from the custard. Pour the custard onto the gelatin to fill to about three quarters of the glass. Now it's time to add the cream to a piping bag with a medium sized star decorating tip. If you don't have a piping bag, you can just spoon on the cream. It will taste just as good. Add a few nuts on top. We used pistachios. Remember, you can also make the trifle in a large dish or even a bowl. This trifle was delicious, but not quite as delicious as our Platinum Jubilee trifle. That one's a lot more work, but it's really scrumptious. To make mixed spice, mix cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, cloves, ginger, coriander, and mace. Mixed spice is a popular British spice blend. It's similar to gingerbread and pumpkin spice blends in other countries. Congratulations to Adam Handling on creating a magnificent trifle for the coronation. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like these.